Once again, I'm 13 News Now meteorologist Rochelle Peart in for a tornado warning that was just issued in northeastern North Carolina. I've got the radar behind me. Going to go ahead and switch that over so you can see it behind me as well. So this was just issued for Camden, Currituck, and Pasquotank counties, and that will go until 1130 this morning. So, Emma, if we could take those graphics full uh, so we can see that full swath of what's going on here. So, again, a tornado warning was just issued for parts of Camden, Currituck, and Pasquotank counties. We were just on the air a couple of minutes ago for a severe thunderstorm warning, which is still in place until 1130 this morning. So it does overlap with that tornado warning again that will go until 11:30. So we'll be on the air with you for the next 45 minutes with this tornado warning that was issued. You'd also do see quite a bit of lightning associated with that as well. I just posted that over my Twitter page. A couple hundred strikes, about 200 strikes of lightning are also associated with this tornado warning that was just issued that will be in effect for the next 45 minutes in northeastern North Carolina. So going to zoom in just a little bit so you can see some of those areas that are included in this. We do see South Mills, Morgan's Corner, Burnt Mills, Gregory, Bellcross, Snowden, New Providence. I'm going to take this alert off so we can see a little bit more of what's going Going on here and just kind of show you. So we'll be paying attention uh, to this red polygon here. Going to go ahead and make a new graphic here so we can see a little bit more of what's going on. So this storm, a little bit to the north, is also again overlapping with a severe thunderstorm warning that is also in place until that same 11:30 time frame. So we have both in place right now for parts of Perquimans, uh, Pasquotank, Camden, and also Currituck counties need to be on heads up for some of this. Currently does not include the Currituck Outer Banks, but these storms are moving to the east or southeast as we go through the late morning hours into the early afternoon. So if you are in the Outer Banks, heads up, we've got strong storms that could be moving into your area. We've got the sun up, sun churns up the atmosphere, makes it more unstable. And when that atmosphere is a little bit more on the unstable side, we do see those storms strengthening, potentially becoming severe. We have the severe weather outlook in place for today. Been talking about it since yesterday morning. Let me go ahead and look over here and see a little bit more information about how fast this storm is moving. All right, it's still moving at 15 miles an hour. So I'm going to zoom out here, put a loop for the last hour on here so you can see how this storm has been moving again moving to the east and you're seeing more of those lightning strikes also showing up with this storm as it continues uh, to move over to the east so at 1043 National Weather Service says that this thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Morgan's Corner or near South Mills and you do see South Mills there at the top left part of that tornado warning and with these warnings we do typically show with the warnings uh, where the storm is moving so it's moving to the east at 15 miles an hour so the hazards for this not just the tornado but also we could be seeing that severe level hail associated with this storm as well so if you are in these areas let me zoom in you need to be heading inside do not go outside I don't want to see a picture on Twitter I don't want a picture on my Facebook page you need to be getting to your safe place right now so again South Mills Morgan's Corner we're seeing some of that heavy we're seeing the heavy rain we're here the light we're hearing the thunder you're seeing the lightning outside of your window right now it's probably very dark out there so go ahead turn up the TV turn up the TV or grab the cell phone we're uh, gonna be streaming live as well so go ahead and turn me up so you can hear exactly what's going on let me pause this and zoom in a little bit more so we can get some of those street names so if you're in some of these areas in South Mills Morgan's Corner you will hear the sound of my voice and know what's going on know that you need to be heading into your safe place. So areas like uh, Pierceville, Johnson's Corner, Bunker Hill Road, Joy's Creek Road, Bingham Road, Chamberlain Road, Morgan's Corner Road along 158. If you live near uh, 343 Beechnut Avenue, also Lake Lake Road around Burnt Mill, some of those areas do need to be heading into your safe place right now. Do not head back outside. And you also do see a little bit around Morgan's Corner. We're seeing some of that pink color indicating some very, very 
heavy downpours right now. So that's something that we'll be keeping an eye on. If there is a tornado that actually touches down, not just the funnel cloud coming down, these areas possibly it could be a rain wrapped tornado if a tornado uh, does form and reach the ground. So we're seeing some very, very heavy rainfall rates um, with this system. So just taking you around Morgan's Corner, you're seeing five and a half inches of rain per hour. That's the type of rainfall that we're talking about. So again, head to your safe place. We do potentially could have, if it, ha if it touches down, a tornado that is possibly rain wrapped, very, very heavy, blinding rain. We've got the thunder, we've got the lightning, we've got the strong winds, because remember, there's also a severe thunderstorm warning associated with this very same area. So we're keeping an eye on that very heavy rainfall rates, three, four, five, upwards of six inches per hour. So that's what we're dealing with uh, with this severe thunderstorm warning and then also the tornado warning. Both of these will go until 1130. So those are some of the areas uh, that may need to be concerned around that Morgan's Corner area. There's Morgan's Corner Road, Hassel Road. Let me see if I can get a couple of street names. Uh, Brothers Lane also associated with that as well. So just a heads up to those areas. If you're hearing your street name, your, uh, your family's uh, neighbor's street name, they need to all be heading inside and you do see just on the other side of this we are seeing Stafford Road, Blindman Road and also Mill Pond Road, Sandy Road, Loop Road, Northridge Court just on the outside of this tornado warning. So if you heard any of those street names you are not included in the tornado warning but you are included in the severe thunderstorm warning. So we're going to keep an eye on that and it does look like there almost might want to be a little bit of a hook developing with this system as it continues to push off to the east. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to track this for you really, really quickly where some of that hev where some of the heaviest of the rain is happening um, and where we're seeing some of that pink zone as it moves off to the east. So let me go ahead and track this for you. Again, these are moving to the east at 15 miles an hour. So as it continues to push eastward, we are going to be seeing some of that heavy rain and possibly some of that other uh, thrown to Burnt Mills is going to be seeing some of that and then Gregory around 1133. Again, this does go until 1130. So I'll be sticking with you uh, as we head through that time frame. Let me zoom out just a bit so we can again see that there is a lot of lightning and there's also a severe thunderstorm warning in place associated with this same cluster that you're seeing a lot of that lightning around South Mills. Heads up if you live in Moyoc, Tulls, Gregory, this is moving to the east. So whether or not it's tornado warned in those areas, lots of lightning and you're seeing those orange strikes. That's more lightning being detected by the radar site back in Wakefield in Sussex County in Virginia. So we are keeping an eye on a lot of different <laughs> factors here. Heavy rain, lightning, strong winds, potential for tornadoes mentioned this morning during day break that we did have that potential for some tornadoes. Uh, so this is the first tornado warning that I've seen so far this morning might not be the last that we deal with, but this is also the second severe thunderstorm warning in place. And that's that bigger yellow shading does include Moya, does include Tulls and some of these other areas that are not uh, in that tornado warning. So again, severe thunderstorm warning and tornado warning. If you're just joining us as we head into the 11 o'clock hour, uh, both of those in effect for Northeastern North Carolina until 1130. Let's check out the velocity here. Lots going on here as well. I'm going to show you a little bit there, putting those uh, watches, or excuse me, those warnings back in place so you can kind of see what's going on. We do have some very bright colors indicating potentially some of that strong wind action. And check this out here. So one thing that we tend to look for is one color kind of wrapped around another color. And those colors are typically red and green. Maybe you'll have some yellow, some blues in there, but you see this green color kind of surrounding surrounded by that red color. That's what we're keeping an eye on. Those particular areas, zooming back in for some street names, that's around Bigham Road, 158, Crystal Lake Drive, just uh, away from Beech Nut Avenue. And with that latest sweep, does include that little green area that's kind of wrapped around those warmer colors, those reds and oranges and yellows. Now moving into Bingham Road, heads up to Johnson Corner. If you're up towards Old Swamp Road, again, around 343, some of those areas is, uh, was that Nose Road, Chamberlain Road, Joyce Creek Road? Uh, so some of those areas need to, uh, those areas need to be heading into your safe place right now. Again, tornado warning in effect for the next 30 or so 
minutes. So what we see when we have uh, these green colors or the red colors surrounded by the other ones, that's the direction that the wind is moving relative to the radar site. Again, that's back up towards Wakefield. So we've got a lot of uh, winds moving away from the radar site that's indicated by the red colors. And then the green that you're seeing, that's the winds moving toward the radar site. So just a little visual here so you can see that. So the reds are moving away from the radar site up in Wakefield in Sussex County. And then when we look at those green colors, those are actually moving toward the radar site. So you can kind of see that rotation um, that we see with the funnel clouds and also with tornadoes as well. Again, a tornado is a funnel cloud that actually reaches the ground. So until it reaches the ground, it is a funnel cloud. However, with that possible rotation, that's why they're indicating this tornado warning or putting out this tornado warning because there is that rotation that's being seen. Now, whether or not it actually touched the ground is to be determined. So we're just going to keep watching this and keeping everyone uh, updated on what's going on. So I'm going to go ahead and switch things over here to uh, something that's called the turbulence, also called the spectral width. Now, I was just looking into this a little bit earlier just to make sure that I have uh, exactly what's going on quite straight. So what this is showing is the difference in winds. So if the winds are moving a little bit differently than all of the other winds within a storm, then this will indicate that and we're seeing that with this now moving into areas of burnt mill. So let me go ahead and center that so we can kind of put that in the forefront of everyone's attention. So again, we're seeing some of these colors, a lot of this gray, this is showing just kind of generally where the storm is moving, where the winds in the storm are moving. But when we're seeing oranges, pinks, yellows, that's showing that, hey, something is moving a little bit differently relative to the rest of the storm. So that's kind of what we're seeing into this area of burnt mill. So that is actually of concern. So another reason why they issued that tornado warning, in addition to that rotation that we just saw with the velocity product with those greens and those reds, that's called the velocity product. And this is called turbulence, or this is called the spectral width. Again, showing that something is moving just a little different from everything else around it. Something else that I want to show you, this is called the correlation coefficient. Now this is this is not not too bad. I'm going to put the warning back on here so you can kind of see uh, what's going on. So with this also called debris detection. Now this would show you where something is being thrown up or where something is looking a little bit different again. But this is relative to the size of the things that are in the atmosphere. So raindrops generally they don't vary crazily in size. So with this, this would show you if a tornado or a funnel is throwing something that is much bigger, much different than a raindrop up into the atmosphere and then being detected by um, the radar. Now, as this takes the next sweep, there is a little bit of something trying to hint that there might be a difference in the size of things that are being detected in the atmosphere, maybe around this area, around Lake, Dry, Lake Road, excuse me, near the Burnt Mills area, just to the east of 343, north of Lambs Road, to the west of Bullyard Road, west of Gregory, west of Snowden, um, and just around that Burnt Mills area. So that might be a slight area of some concern when it comes to this, but we are seeing seeing things kind of lining up with this tornado warning that we have here into parts of northeastern North Carolina as far as the different um, products go that we look at to see, hey, is there rotation? Hey, is something moving differently relative to the rest of the storm? And hey, is there something in the atmosphere that's not rain? Now, there could also be hail out there. So let me go ahead and show you the hail. Once again, going to put that uh, warning back in that polygon. So anywhere in that red polygon, that is the tornado warning. And we also have, again, the severe thunderstorm warning also in place until 11 30. Hail potential as we look towards areas of northeastern North Carolina, south or around Morgan's Corner. This this is a bit concerning. Now, this was also a hazard listed under the tornado warning was the potential for some large hail. And we are seeing that being picked up by the radar just on the extreme western zone of this tornado warning um, in parts of our area into North Carolina. 
So as we take a look, and you might be hearing, picking up on my microphone, that's some heavier rain now coming into downtown Norfolk. And it looks like they are updating this tornado warning. So let me go ahead and I'm going to tell you what some of these numbers are on the hail potential really quickly. And then we're going to take a look at what that update might have been from the National Weather Service. And you're seeing that latest sweep showing an update on the hail potential. So some of the numbers that this is picking up on. 1.38 inches. We're seeing possible hail of one and a third inch uh, in this storm. So again, it's not just the potential for a tornado. It's also the large hail. And I do want to remind everyone zooming out here that the radar site is all the way back up into uh, Wakefield, which is back over here. So this with the um, radar, it actually points up at an angle. So this is picking up the uh, hail that's in this storm that's a lot higher in the atmosphere so it might not be reaching the ground at these sizes but this is the largest hail detection that i've seen so far this morning and i've been watching this since about four or five o'clock this morning so things are starting to pick up and we're also seeing heavy rain we're seeing lots of lightning we're seeing the hail and we also have this tornado warning also in place so that's why if you're joining us for the 11 a.m hour uh we have a tornado warning in place i'm going to go and just kind of reset things just a bit so we can see kind of what's going on with the big picture here across Virginia and also northeastern North Carolina. A lot of that lightning is concentrated into our North Carolina counties. There is also some lightning being detected in extreme southern parts of Chesapeake. So uh, down towards the state park in southern Chesapeake, uh, those areas probably hearing some of that thunder right now. So as we pause things, we also in Chesapeake, just a quick little uh, letting you know that we have this flood advisory also in effect for southern parts of Chesapeake around Bells Mills. Bear Quarter, Deep Creek, Great Bridge, Fentress along Battlefield Boulevard South. That's on the extreme western side of this. We have had quite a bit of rain falling in the area. So it's not just in North Carolina, but also into Virginia. We've had a lot of rain falling into this region. Now, this is showing you the past 12 hours, but a lot of this rain has really fallen within the last four to six hours. And some of the numbers on this, and we're going to zoom out and look at some other areas as far as the heavy rain goes, 4.7 inches, 5 point three inches five point eight inches upwards of six inches of rain has fallen and this um, this advisory will go until a uh, noon this advisory will go until noon for Chesapeake so just kind of resetting that so you can see what's going on there again flood advisory for the city of Chesapeake in Virginia until noon we still have some rain falling out there as well but you're seeing these numbers and again it's not just Chesapeake we're going to clear this out and then let's go ahead zoom back out so we can see rainfall mainly has been across Virginia, but now we have some of this heavy rain moving into northeastern North Carolina, where we have this tornado warning currently in place for the next 28 minutes. I'm going to stick with you just so that we can make sure that everyone's staying safe, getting the information that they needed. And you're seeing a lot of that rain across Virginia, but now starting to move into northeastern North Carolina. So if you live in northeastern North Carolina, you haven't seen anything quite yet, just wait a bit. It's moving to the east. Um, anywhere between about 15 and 30 miles an hour. But with the tornado warning, that storm is moving around 15 miles an hour to the east. So uh, what I'm going to do for you here is let's put the actual radar back on so we can see how the system is moving. And I don't have the lightning on here just now, but we are going to be keeping an eye on that radar. So it looks like not much change as far as that tornado warning goes. I guess it was just a top of the hour update uh, just to let everyone know that, hey, again, that this tornado warning is in place. So let me put, oh, I'm not going to put the lightning on. I do want to show you, uh, just pausing this, where some of the heaviest rain is falling across the area. And it is falling within that tornado warning, but you do see into Northampton County in northeastern North Carolina around Murfreesboro, Lasker, Manola, those areas seeing heavy rain as well as is Reynoldson, Tar Heel, Cora Peak, uh, just to the east of Kellogg's Fork, up towards Suffolk, heads up in Suffolk, some heavy rain coming down there, Kings Fork, Nansman, Russell, Lummis areas, Myrtle areas, and even towards Boaz and Baileytown, Algren, all seeing heavy rain. If you travel into Western Branch in Chesapeake, some moderate rain happening into that area as well. Jolliffe, Bowers Hill,
Trail, Algren, Ahoy Acres, Dock Landing Road, Kaufman Boulevard along 664. Right now, our bridge is not looking too bad. We do have some light to moderate rain on the James River Bridge, Monitor Merrimack, and the HRBT. But I mentioned just a little while ago, you might be able to hear the rain coming down in my microphone on top of our studio in downtown Norfolk. Not too heavy in downtown Norfolk right now. Some moderate rain as you head along 264 into Virginia Beach and also that 264-64 interchange into parts of Chesapeake heading up towards Greenbrier. The mall, all the shopping and uh, restaurants up there are all seeing some heavy, or excuse me, moderate to heavy rain into those regions as well. So we do have widespread pretty moderate rain into Chesapeake and also central Virginia Beach and even northern Virginia Beach along the Chesapeake Bay Bridge tunnel seeing some uh, moderate to heavy rain falling there. So taking you into northern parts of Norfolk, just the heads up on some heavy rain into Glenwood Park, Algonquin Park, up towards Naval Station, Norfolk, all seeing some heavy rain. Also northern parts of uh, Norfolk on along 64. So uh, seeing some heavy rain into those regions as well towards Terminal Avenue. Uh, up towards the commissary, probably seeing some moderate rain, the gas station on base, all dealing with that, and even into parts of uh, northern parts of Portsmouth, also dealing with that as well. So let's take you back into northeastern North Carolina, where we do have this tornado warning in place. Again, if you're just joining us, this tornado warning is in place until 1130, so I'm sticking with you for the next 25 minutes. Camden, Currituck, Pasquotank County, this is a radar-indicated tornado, so no ground confirmation as of yet, but we do have multiple indicators indicators that there is some rotation happening with this storm and you do see right here as we take this pause little bit of what's called a hook echo as well is showing up here and it looks like we're getting some other information up but I do want to show you that this area you see where that's kind of that little nub is kind of sticking out that's something that we call a hook echo and when that happens that kind of indicates that there is some rotation happening within this storm as well so I do want to take you uh, a little bit deeper let's dive a little bit deeper into some of what's going on you can also see some heavy downpours as well precip rates right now there's a pink area into a northern part Parts of this 5.63 inches per hour blinding rain is coming down within this tornado warning. So this could potentially be, if it touches down, a rain wrapped tornado. So if you are in these areas, if you got that alert on your phone, just know you need to head into your safe place, an interior room away from windows, grab pillows, blankets, cover your head. You're hearing that blinding rain. You're also hearing lots and lots of thunder. So you might not hear the tornado as it comes through. Again, if it's touching down. Do want to take you again through the velocity to show you what is going on here, where these winds are going, and where we possibly could be dealing with at least a funnel cloud. You do see lots of bright yellows around Burnt Mills, South Road, Horseshoe Road, along 143 Cedar Branch Road. You're seeing that. And I mentioned a little earlier we had the greens wrapped, or excuse me, we, they had the red colors wrapped around the green colors just a bit, and that was showing a very tight, tight rotation with that system, and it does look like they've issued another severe thunderstorm warning, so we'll talk about that in just a little bit, but I do want to keep you uh, focused on this tornado warning that we have. Again, for those of you just joining us, those red colors and those yellow colors, you're seeing very, very bright yellow colors in there, indicating some very strong winds happening with this storm, so those red colors heading away from the radar site which is in Wakefield in Sussex County so this is picking up on some rotation higher up in the atmosphere if it was a little bit closer because of the way that the radar being shoots it shoots up into the atmosphere so it's catching these winds rotating up high in this storm and those winds or those colors here that you're seeing here with the greens and the blues those are moving toward the radar site so you can see that counterclockwise rotation uh, within this storm as it continues to push off to the east at 15 miles an hour. So just kind of showing you uh, that rotation once again, that counterclockwise rotation, burnt mills. Uh, if you're in those areas, Gregory, Bellcross, New Providence, Snowden, heads up to you, tornado warning in effect for the next 20 minutes. And I've got you covered. I'll stick with you through the rest of this. Hales Lake Road, South Road, Lambs Road. Again, let's see if we can get a few more. Cowpen Road, Center Road, South Road, Main Road, all included in this. Lafayette Road, uh, also included in this tornado warning, heading a little bit farther to the east toward that eastern boundary of the tornado warning. 
Snowden, Sligo, Shawboro, also towards uh, some of the street names, Juniper Ridge Road, Snowden Road, North Indian Town Road, and Gregory, we're heading to North Gregory, Gregory Road, excuse me, Whitehurst Lane, Buckhorn Road, Hales Lake Road, Lambs Road again, Scotland Road, uh, North Indian Town Road, and South Indian Town Road also included in that. Tulls, you are included in this tornado warning that will go for the next 20 minutes. And um, one other thing that I do want to, a couple other things that I would like to show you as well correlation coefficient. Now this, this makes me feel a little bit better, but we do still have that indicator. I know there's a lot of colors going on. I'll break it down for you. Don't worry. Again, that red polygon that you're seeing, we do have that tornado warning in effect. And let me see if I can actually highlight that possibly. There we go. So that tornado warning is going to be that kind of shimmering polygon just so that we can get a better look at what's going on here. And again, I know a lot of colors going on uh, on your screen. It might be a bit confusing, but I'll, I'll, I'll stick with me. I'll, I'll try to keep you updated on this. So latest radar sweep does show with this, this is called debris detection or correlation coefficient. This shows you, hey, something is different. Something is not a raindrop out there. Now again, we do have hail potential with this storm as well, with this tornado worn storm. So we have this hail potential with this, but again, something is not a raindrop. Something's looking a little different out here. So that's what this is showing you out here in the area of concern with this. And actually it looks like we have another tornado warning just issued a little bit down to the south and west. So I'll be sticking with you for a little bit here, covering these storms and keeping everyone safe. So that's the area with this tornado warning for Camden, Currituck, and Pasquotank. That's the area as far as debris detection or also known as correlation coefficient. That's the region that we're going to be keeping an eye on. Now, another product that I want to take you with is that spectral width. And again, I'm going to highlight this tornado warning, the first one that we initially came on the air for. We're going to take you to the spectral width, also called the turbulence. So with this, this actually shows you that something is moving a little bit different. There are different wind speeds happening versus the general way that the storm is actually moving. So this could be rotation. This could be, you know, uh, strong straight light winds. But with this, we're keeping an eye on that tornado warning again until 1130 for Camden, Currituck, Pasquotank counties. And we do have a new tornado warning, and I will get to that in just a second. So just showing you the area of concern with the turbulence or the spectral width graphic. It is right there. And what I'm going to do for you here, I'm going to zoom right on into it, get some street names going so we can know exactly where some of those areas of main concern are. But if you are in a tornado warning, please do not go outside. We have very heavy rain. We have thunder. We have lightning. We have strong winds also associated with these storms, uh, whether they're tornado warned or not. So again, Northeast and North Carolina right now, you are our main area of concern. Also a flood advisory into southern parts of Chesapeake. We'll get to all that coming up in just a little bit. But right now, that turbulence, Main Road, Calpen Road, South Road, all included in that. That's around the Burnt Mills area to the north of Gregory. Um, again, a tornado warning in place. So let's go ahead. Let me switch uh, over here so I can see exactly what the weather service is, is saying. So again, we have a new severe thunderstorm warning. That is for Camden, Currituck, Pasquotank, and Perquimans counties until noon. And then we have a tornado warning that was issued for Pasquotank and Perquimans counties only until 1145. So I'm going to take you over to that new tornado warning and just give me a sec to get that information from the National Weather Service. Now this one, it's actually sped up just a bit. Now this one is moving at 20 miles an hour. The main hazard with this is not, we don't have hail as a hazard with this second, second tornado warning, but it is that radar indicated tornado potential. So here is that tornado warning that I was saying for Pasquantank and Perquimans counties. Going to put that highlight on for you. And again, we're talking about this shimmering polygon here. Now that's the area that we're watching right now. So currently, again, this storm is moving at 20 miles an hour for this this tornado warning, the one only for Pasquotank and Perquimans County, the storm, the area of concern moving at 20 miles an hour for the other tornado warning, that one is moving at 15, so slightly slower, probably not noticeable. If you're in your safe place like you should be, you won't notice the difference in the movement. You need to be in an interior room 
away from windows, lowest level of your house. That's where you need to be. Turn your TV up as high as it needs to be. Maybe you're heading to the coat closet, to the bathroom. Turn it up. I'll stick with you, keeping you safe as we head through the next 30 minutes with these two tornado warnings. The second one that you're seeing right here will go until 1145. The other one goes until 1130. So 15 more minutes left on that one. So taking a look at the turbulence here for this second tornado warning. Not too much really going on of concern. You do see into uh, the extreme northern part of this that we have a little bit of some turbulence here around Horseshoe Road, Commissary Road, Trinity Trail, 158 Lake Drive. Let me see where this was actually located, this storm. Um, severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado located near Morgan's Corner. So again, Morgan's Corner, South Mills, heads up to those zones. If you are there, you should already be in your safe place. You're still under that first tornado warning as well. So uh, eight miles southwest of South Mills. So we're keeping an eye on that. Um, and it does look like they also just issued a third tornado warning was just issued for parts of northeastern North Carolina. And this one includes the Currituck Outer Banks. If you are on the Currituck Outer Banks, tornado warning just issued for you. Let me get the information on that for you right now. And this one will go until 12 15. So I'm going to put the alert on this so you can see. And I'm also going to read off the information as well. So 12:15 tornado warning, 12:15 uh, p.m. Also hail is going to be a large hail is going to be a concern with this. This looks like just an extension of that first tornado warning that we came on the air with. So again, looks like an extension on that. So this one, this storm also moving at 20 miles an hour. This one that you're seeing that shimmering polygon for Camden and Currituck County severe thunderstorm possibly a tornado near Moyoc near Camden moving east 20 miles an hour I said heads up Moyoc you're not in the tornado warning right now but they have included parts of Moyoc in this tornado warning that goes until 12:15. so I'm sticking with you for the next hour. So stick with me. We'll get through this. Uh, lots of heavy rain you're hearing it on my microphone if I stop talking for just a second you can hear it coming down in downtown Norfolk. We don't have any severe alerts right now in place across Hampton Roads. We do have, however, you're seeing at the top right part of your screen under that tornado warning banner, a little blue polygon that is actually a when I switch it over to the reflectivity or showing you that radar, that is a flood advisory that will go for the next 45 minutes for areas of Chesapeake. And we'll talk about that in just a second. So these storms now are moving about 20 miles an hour. So let me adjust my tracker here so we can take a look um, at where some of these are going to be heading into some timing, put some timing on some of these, I should say. So just give me a second here so we can zoom in. So Knott's Island, Maple, Tulls, Sligo, Gregory, uh, Water Lily, Corolla, all included in this tornado warning. Again, does include the Currituck Outer Bank. So if you are here on vacation, uh, maybe you were watching some of the commentary and the programming that we had, you are now under a tornado warning on the Currituck Outer Bank. So just giving you a heads up on that, that these storms are moving at 20 miles an hour, generally in an easterly direction. So taking a look here, one thing I'm going to do for you really quickly, we haven't talked about this, this in a little bit, lightning, huge concern. Look at all those lightning strikes that just popped up when I added that to the radar. We have lots of lightning, so you're not going to be able to hear if there is a tornado on the ground. We've got heavy rain. You're hearing it when I stop. And that's not even the heaviest of the rain coming down in the 13 News Now viewing area. But heavy rain, we've got lightning, thunder, lots of things happening with this storm. Let me take the lightning back off so we can see just how heavy some of this rainfall is with this last tornado warning that was just issued that goes until 1215. I'm going to highlight it for you just so you can know exactly which one I'm talking about because we have three currently in place across the area. Again, Camden, Currituck, radar indicated uh, rotation with that one. Let's go ahead and check out the velocity right now um, so we can see kind of where what's going on where this the winds are moving and again I do think this is just the extension well not just the extension but this is an extension of that initial tornado warning that's set to expire at 11 
30. So this one here, again, pay attention to that shimmering polygon. 1215 Camden and Currituck counties moving off to the east. So taking a look here at the rotation, once again, those warm colors, those indicate where the winds are moving away from the radar site in Wakefield. So you're seeing those around Gregory, those are moving away. Green colors, those bright green colors, even into those kind of teal, light blue colors, those are indicating where the winds are moving toward the radar site. So, this is for this newest tornado warning. Let me take you back to the other one for Pasquotank and Perquimans counties, just so that we can take another look at what's going on with the winds within, though, within that tornado warning as well. So I'm going to just go ahead, just switch back over to my internet tab so we can get this information, let you know what's going on. Again, at 1110, Sierra Thunderstorm, capable of uh, or tornado was located near Morgan's Corner, eight miles southwest of South Mills, moving east at 20 miles an hour. And highlighting this once again so you can know exactly which of the three tornado warnings we are keeping an eye on here. So we're looking at that wind speed, seeing where some of that rotation might be with this storm here. Uh, those green colors, we've got some bright green colors, not super tight of a rotation with this storm, but you can see we do have some rotation within. In this storm, but not super tight, which is good news. We we don't want the tight rotation. We don't actually want to have a tornado on the ground, but it's potentially there with one of these tornado warnings that we have as well. So again, three tornado warnings currently in place. Two severe thunder, three severe thunderstorm warnings in place. Looks like we just got a new one issued a little bit farther off to the west. So let me get some information on this if we can go ahead and do that. So again, another severe thunderstorm warning. Uh, is currently in place, and that looks like that one will go until noon. Um, includes Bertie, Chawan, Gates, and Hertford counties. Also includes Ahoski, Cofield, Harrellsville, and also St. John. This, was, this one was issued just about three minutes ago, and it looks like there may be a tornado possible with this storm, with that new, yes, with that new severe thunderstorm warning that we're looking at here. Um, it looks like a tornado is possible with that one. So that's why it looks a little bit differently than the other yellow polygons a little bit farther off to the east. It's got kind of that red outline. That is because a tornado is possible with this storm. And zooming into that, just to give it, uh, give our neighbors in southern parts of um, Hertford County uh, what they need to know here. We're seeing that around Pleasant Plains, Ahoski, um, putting some street names on it for you. US 13, you're seeing Fraser's Cross. Crossroads, Union Road, Boone Farm Road, Martin Luther King Jr. Drive North, and Ahoski Cofield Road. We're seeing some of those bright red, those yellow colors showing up, and also some of those yellows, or excuse me, some of those greens as well, once again indicating where that rotation is within the storm. So once again, we do have this severe thunderstorm warning that was just issued about three weeks ago, and looks like we have an update on something else going on here. This severe thunderstorm warning, let me zoom in just a Bit so that it can pick up on the one that we wanted to pick up on. This one goes for Bertie, Chawan, Gates, Hertford counties until noon. So again, a severe thunderstorm warning. Lots of action happening right now in northeastern North Carolina. General rule, if you live in northeastern North Carolina, head inside. If you are under the sound of my voice, you need to head to an interior room because even though this is a severe thunderstorm warning, you do see storm threat third line down tornado possible. Also strong winds up to 60 miles an hour. 75 inch or less, excuse me, 0.75 inch hail is possible with this severe thunderstorm warning uh, as well as that potential for the tornado. So that's why this one looks a little bit differently. It's got that red outline um, and it looks like uh, we've got an update on that westernmost tornado warning. Let me again switch over to my internet tab, and if you give me a second, I'm gonna drink a little bit of water. Uh, lots of talking, lots of things happening out here right now. So it looks like update to a tornado warning just came in about a minute ago from the National Weather Service, has taken Perquimans out of the tornado warning. So Perquimans County, you are no longer included in this tornado warning that is farthest off to the west. Now we do still have two other tornado warnings that are currently in place that will go um, one is set to expire this middle one is set to expire at 11:30. the one that we initially went on the air for and then we also have this one 
farther off to the east that will go until 1215. So stick with me. You've got me for about 50 more minutes at the least because we're going to continue to stay on the air with these tornado warnings that are currently uh, in place across northeastern North Carolina. Let me take the alerts off so that we don't have that showing up there and do want to take you a little bit farther out showing you what else is going on. Let's take you back to the radar as well. Got some info coming in from the newsroom a little while ago uh, from Chesapeake traffic alert. Also, let me zoom out and I'm going to put the radar on loop so that we can see all of what's happening um, out there. So this is the last three hour loop that we're looking at here. We've got a traffic alert coming in out of Chesapeake. Storm related power outages in the Greenbrier area. So if you are in the Greenbrier area, you may be hearing me on online. You may be hearing me online because of your power outages. So hopefully people have uh, some of those devices um, charged up. So we do have some traffic signals um, that are affected in the Greenbrier area of Chesapeake. Several roadways, including, including if you live in these areas, you need to go grocery shopping, heads up. Kempsville Road, Greenbrier Parkway, Volvo Parkway, and Battlefield Boulevard North. So again, power outages in Chesapeake, Virginia. Not where we're seeing the severe thunderstorm and tornado warnings. This is to the north, but we also do have that flood advisory that will go until noon into parts of Chesapeake. I'll talk about that in just a second. We also have a new tornado warning in effect um, for parts of Hertford County and also looks like it's going into Chawan and Bertie counties as well. We'll get to that in just a second. Lots, lots, lots happening right here. Just want to remind you all again, just mentioning this once again, storm related power outages in the city of Chesapeake in the Greenbrier area of Chesapeake, heavily populated. It's Sunday. People might be heading out, getting their groceries for the week. We've got some traffic signals that are affected by these storms. We've got strong winds out there. We've had lots of lightning. Matter of fact, let me put the lightning back on there so you can see kind of what's going on. Most of this lightning right now into North Carolina, but traffic signals affected in the city of Chesapeake, Greenbrier area. If you're around Kempsville Road, Greenbrier Parkway, Volvo Parkway, Battlefield Boulevard North, maybe you're heading to the Wawa on Kempsville Road to get gas. Heads up, traffic signals are affected. Taking you back to the radar right now, again, we have a new uh, tornado warning in effect for, it looks like, again, parts of Hertford County. Uh, Chawan County and also Bertie County. Now that one will go until noon, so only about the next 35 or so minutes that we'll have this tornado warning in effect. And going to get you some information on that super quickly, so just give me a moment here. Let this page load up. Now this one, this one's moving pretty quickly. This is the quickest one that we've seen so far. Uh, moving at 30 miles an hour, you're also seeing lots of lightning, and this is right inside of that Severe thunderstorm warning that was just issued that I was telling you it looks a little different than the other ones with this red outline because of that potential for a tornado within this storm as it's moving looks like to the southeast but they're saying east but it's the east southeast is what we'll give it at 30 miles an hour. So let's pause this. Let's go ahead zoom in again. We've got lots of action happening across northeastern North Carolina right now. So this storm is moving. 30 miles an hour. I'm going to adjust this because the other storms, they were moving at 20. So this one's moving a bit faster and we are seeing some of that heavy rain as well as the lightning, the thunder coming down. If you're in a Husky, I know you can hear it right now. So let's take this over the next, uh, see if we can get 45 minutes, 45 minutes. Over the next 45 minutes, if you are in the areas of Powellsville, 1133, Haroldsville, 1141, Rosemead, 1145, Coal Rain, 1150, 1150, for Cannon Ferry residents and right around noon for Ryland and Cisco 1204 you'll have that heavy rain lightning moving into your area. This storm is a tornado warned storm. So just the heads up on that. In addition, I'm going to zoom out. Let's clear this. Let's zoom out. I do want to tell you as well how much lightning is coming into this area as well because it's it's plenty plentiful lightning is happening in this storm alone 157 lightning strikes and again this is moving down to the east southeast generally um, at 30 miles an hour and some of the areas that are currently seeing some of that let's zoom in we have some heavy heavy rain looking at a husky we've got early's uh, also into Fraser's crossroads Jernigan Airport Road looks like Martin Luther King Jr. Drive north North Godwin Town Road. As we head up towards a Husky Cofield Road near Didley's Mill, we've got some pretty heavy rain around Van Road. What was that? I uh, lost it. Rhonda's Lane, Perry Road. How heavy is this rain in this little pink area right here? 
six and a half inches per hour. This is the heaviest rain that I've seen so far this morning um, coming down in this tornado worn storm for parts of Hertford, uh, Bertie, and also Chawan County as well. So Pleasant Plains, Cofield, all those areas along 11, West Saluda Hall Road, Boone Farm Road, Oak Villa again, Cofield along 45. Um, we're seeing those heavy rain and also the lightning coming as well. And also Pylons Cross Road included in that, Evanstown Road, Quebec Road included in that tornado worn storm and looks like uh, so something of a hook. Again, we're watching maybe this little bit here, but let's go ahead and switch you over to the velocity, see where the winds are moving. And I'm going to put here the uh, warnings back on so you can kind of see where that warning is. It's a little difficult to see the warning. So let me see if I can highlight it. There we go just so that you can kind of see where the border of that tornado warning is. Um, so what we're looking at here for anyone just joining us because of the sound of their phone or maybe you have a weather radio in place or you had the TV on in the background from watching daybreak and you heard the alert come on. You're saying what is going on? This is what we call wind speed or velocity. This is showing how fast and in what direction the winds are moving with this storm. Now the radar for this is back to towards Wakefield. So it's picking up because the radar shoots at an angle. It's actually picking up these winds high up in the atmosphere. So this is a radar indicated tornado warning that we have right here for Bertie, Chawan and Hertford counties that goes until noon today. And please excuse the heavy rain that's actually coming down in our station in downtown Norfolk. You might be hearing that pig being picked up over my microphone as well. So we've got heavy rain coming down across a good portion of our area. And we've been dealing with this rain since about 545 this morning in parts of the region. It's really just kind of overtaken things um, since then. So what we're looking at here again, wind speed, wind direction, anywhere that's a warmer color, yellows, oranges, reds, uh, dark reds, that's showing where the wind is moving away from the radar site in Wakefield. That's in Sussex County, quite a ways away. Anywhere that we have the yellow, we've got those winds moving toward, or excuse me, anywhere that's in the green, pardon me, anywhere in the green, those winds are moving toward the radar sites in Wakefield. So we do have some rotation happening with this. I'm going to clear these arrows off and see if we can zoom in just a bit, see if there's any tighter rotation happening with this. Um, let's see, where was this? It was located over a Hosky. So we have a Hosky there on the left side of your screen. You're also seeing Malibu Drive included there, Godwin Town Road, Bethlehem, uh, Archer Town Road, Big Mill Road. So we do have this kind of matching. So what we look with, what we look at when it comes to the velocity is bright yellows, reds, and next to bright greens or bright blues. So we do have some of that around Bethlehem um, as far as this um, this uh, imagery goes. We do have kind of that brightness right around Bethlehem. So you do see right here some of the bright greens. We also have some bright yellows around that area. So what, what highway is this? And with that last sweep, looks like it might have shifted a little bit to the south. So this is right along 561. So if you near, live near 561 or if you're in Bethlehem, um, we do have some rotation showing up on the radar as well. I'm going to take you over to what's called the correlation coefficient. And I like what I'm seeing here because it's not indicating, at least at this height, that we uh, could be seeing um, something being lofted up in the atmosphere. But there is a little bit of some difference. But again, this is picking up what's going on very, very high up in the atmosphere. This is showing you that something is different from all of the things falling or moving around it. So what we're looking for is any type of difference in this color. So we're seeing a lot of reds. That's showing you that, hey, you know, um, you know, this is all the same. Wherever you're seeing a lot of those burgundy colors, all the things that are being picked up in the atmosphere, all the um, raindrops are the same. Maybe some hail being, show, uh, being picked up with this as well. We will take a look at the uh, hail detection in just a second. We also have other tornado warnings that we do want to get back to and let people know what's going on with those. But this is showing you that, hey, things are looking different. Things are falling um, at different sizes here with this. So I do want to take you to, let's talk about the hail. Let's go ahead and look at the hail really quickly. Put that warning back on so we can see exactly what's going on, where that, uh, where that boundary is. As 
as far as the uh, tornado warning goes. So we do have some hail being detected by the radar around Ahoskie Cofield Road, Didley's Mill, around Ahoskie on US 13, Pleasant Plains. We're also seeing that as well. Now Willoughby Road, Brinkleyville Road, Van Road, Godwin Town Road, and again around Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Drive, North Catherine Creek Road, South. We have some... Uh, Small hail being detected with that, and hail was one of the threats um, issued with this tornado warning. Again, this one will go for a little bit longer. 0.94, we're also seeing uh, 0.63, and it looks like they've issued a severe thunderstorm warning with tornado potential for uh, the same area. So what I'm going to do, let's reset, let's reset, let's go ahead, zoom out, show the area as a whole to see exactly what's going on. So it does actually look like they may have dropped that other tornado, or excuse me, severe thunderstorm warning and either issued a new one or kind of just chopped back the one that we had um, just a little while ago. So again, we have three tornado warnings currently in place and then also in Chesapeake, a flood advisory, which will go until noon. So I'm going to loop the radar for you the last, let's do the last two hours, shall we? Let's, let's loop it for the last two hours here so you can see kind of what's going on. And it looks like an update, that flashing is showing an update to the tornado warning into areas of Hertford County, also Gates County, and Chawan, a very small portion of Chawan County. This is a radar-indicated uh, tornado warning that goes until noon. Now, again, we do have a couple of other tornado warnings warnings and we're going to go ahead and get into that right now but again we have multiple warnings all in northeastern North Carolina and um, keeping an eye on those for about the next 40 or so minutes so I'm just going to really even though we do have some heavy rain coming down in that flood advisory we'll talk about that in a second but we do have uh, multiple tornado warnings in place actually looks like they may have just issued a new tornado warning yes they did for Camden, Pasquotank County's new tornado warning until 1215. So for the next 40 minutes, we have this tornado warning. Camden, Pasquotank County includes Elizabeth City. If you live near Elizabeth City, you are under a tornado warning until 1215. And it uh, looks like an update to a severe thunderstorm warning happening there. So that's whenever you see that flashing, they're updating something. The National Weather Service is updating something as far as that uh, warning goes. So as far as this new tornado warning, uh, this one is moving east at 25 miles an hour could also be dealing with some uh, severe sized hail which would be the size of the coin the quarter coin so an inch in diameter give me a second here I just need to drink a little bit of water here we do have again four tornado warnings in place right now across northeastern North Carolina. These will go for the next 40 minutes as a general rule. We still have, we have tornado warnings through the next 40 minutes. We also have a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings in effect as well. So this new tornado warning with the storm located near Elizabeth City, that will that's moving at 25 miles an hour. Zooming into that, lots, lots, lots going on here. Let me try and break it down for you so you can understand here what is going on. Highlighting this latest tornado warning. Follow that shimmering polygon for uh, the one that I'm talking about here because they're kind of ov they're overlapping. The other tornado warnings are overlapping with this one here. So that storm located near Elizabeth City moving to the east at 25 miles an hour. So we're going we're gonna to zoom in to Elizabeth City here so we can see a little bit more of what's going on with the city itself, um, see what's going on as far as the heavy rain goes. We've got it paused here, and we've got that sweeping radar going on. So we do have some heavy rain happening right now in Elizabeth City. Um, again, hazard, potential tornado, and also hail the size of the quarter coin, which is an inch in diameter. So that's some pretty large hail, and that will qualify as severe level hail. That is actually happening in that area. So again, heavy rain coming down in Elizabeth City. And just to show you, lots of lightning also happening in the Elizabeth City area. Zooming in just a little bit here. 
where some of that heavy rain is happening, West Church Road, West Colonial Avenue, Jessup Street, Knobs Creek Drive around the Lumber Mill area, along 34, also Southern Avenue, Walker Avenue, Pear Tree Road. You're seeing the uh, fine amphitheater also included in this tornado warning. If you live near the Mickey L. Burnham Fine Amphitheater uh, near River Road, you are included in a tornado warning until 1215. Knobs Creek Drive also included in that as well. So let's zoom out just a little bit. So we're paying attention to this southernmost tornado warning. Lots of red polygons, I know, there on your screen. Uh, multiple tornado warnings currently in effect, and they're all for northeastern North Carolina. Um, as we go through the next 45 or so minutes here, we're going to keep an eye on things. Again, lots of lightning showing up here, putting a number on that lightning within this uh, new tornado warning. We've got uh, 175 lightning strikes but it only takes one to cause issues, whether it's damage or whether it's something else. It only takes one lightning strike to cause problems. So you don't want to take that lightly just because they don't issue warnings for lightning. If you hear the thunder, head inside. If you see a flash, inside your dash. That's kind of what the National Weather Service, um, they say when it comes to those uh, lightning threats as well. So what we're going to do here is let's take a look since hail was a threat with this system, hail signature is not showing up very large, which is good news. We don't want large hail. We don't want that to cause damage to anyone's home or car or anything like that. So the hail signatures are on the smaller side as far as the Elizabeth City, uh, Pasco Tank um, area goes. So that, that's some good news here. Do want to take you back to this other tornado warning where we had some larger hail signatures. Um, a husky no longer included in that. That, but areas like Beth Bethlehem, Powellsville, Colerain, Wakelon, um, Mount Gould, and back towards Rocky Hawk into uh, Chihuahua County all included in that. The hail potential, it's smaller, which is good news. Again, we don't want that large hail that we saw just a bit ago taking you back so you can see. Yeah, we had quite a bit of hail potential as we look towards uh, 1126 time frame. And it was picking up on some larger hail within that thunderstorm that we had into that area. So that's some good news that we're seeing now, taking you to the current time, not really seeing too much as far as hail potential goes. However, let's go ahead, let's try another product. Let's look at something else that's uh, that can show us what's going on out there. This is the debris detection, and I'm putting the um, warnings back in place. This would show you that something up in the atmosphere is of a different size than the things that are surrounding it. So maybe it's a, a branch or something else being thrown up into the atmosphere by a potential tornado, by a funnel cloud um, that could be uh, moving through these different areas. Now, what you would see is those kind of burgundy colors being surrounded by whether it's a green color or excuse me, that burgundy color surrounding a green, surrounding a blue color, that's what you would see. And when we look anywhere between um, uh, parts of uh, Hertford County into Bertie County, we're not seeing that. We're getting a new sweep here. As we look into areas of uh, Camden County and Pasquotank County, we're not really seeing that, which is good news. And as we head into this other tornado warning up into parts of Camden County and Curta County, also not seeing that debris detected into the area either. So that's very good news. But again, we still have these multiple tornado warnings. Now I'm going to take you over to another graph uh, excuse me, another product that we tend to use, which is called turbulent or spectral width. Now, what's going on with this one here? Let me zoom out so we can get the full swath of these tornado warnings that are currently in place. Now, this one a little bit more concerning. Now, what I'm going to be looking for and telling you that I'm looking at with this product is colors like... Um, orange and pinks and uh, also some purples surrounded by gray colors. So this is showing you something in there. The winds are moving in a different direction, uh, maybe a different speed than the winds around it. So the storm is moving. These storms are moving anywhere between about 20 and 30 miles an hour, generally to the east or the east southeast. So maybe a little bit of a southern movement um, with them as well. So we are uh, watching within these three tornado, four tornado warning, well, really the three, because this one here, not much showing up in this tornado warning here. And this is the one 
um, until 1145. So I'm sure they'll let that one expire. I believe they'll let that one expire at 1145. So that'll go for the next three minutes. But zooming back out here and looking at the other tornado warnings that are in place, let's take you back to Camden County and Currituck County. Actually, it's mostly Currituck County. We do have this area that's showing that something is moving a little bit differently. Uh, areas around Maple, you're seeing around 158. So this area right here, this is showing you that, hey, something is moving a little bit differently. There's some different uh, movement within that storm. So that's an area of concern. I'm going to zoom in just to get some more uh, okay, community way, Currituck County Regional, Hasties Point, Barco, Simpson Lane. So those are some of the areas that we might have to be watching um, a little bit more closely for the next little bit. Maple Road, Swains Lane, Swans Lane, excuse me if I'm pronouncing that wrong. And you're seeing that moving a little bit farther to the east towards 168, also 158 Ed Sawyer Lane. That's another area that we'll keep an eye on. And also taking a look here a little bit farther south down towards Poplar Branch. Branch, um, just on the edge of this tornado warning, um, we're seeing also a little bit of some pink showing up. So that's actually um, quite a bit of different movement. So that's showing that the intense, the difference in the movement is a little bit more versus where we're seeing more of those orange colors wherever we see those pink colors. So just letting you know that if you are around 158 Markert Road uh, towards Annette's Court, Collington Circle, near Arrow Shore Lane around the Poplar's Point area. Uh, so just Poplar Branch, excuse me, Poplar Branch area. Please pardon me. Um, just a heads up to those areas. So back towards H2OBX. If you live around H2OBX Water Park, um, you are on the southern edge of that tornado warning for Currituck County. But just know that there are some things happening there that you need to be in your safe place, even though you might not be in that tornado warning. You need to be inside. Um, in an interior room lowest level of your house. So as we head towards areas of Bertie County, Chawan County, and also Hertford County as well, into that tornado warning, we do, it's not very concentrated where we're seeing the differences in the wind speeds and the winds, excuse me, within this tornado warning and also the zooming out greater severe thunderstorm warning that's also in place as well. It's not as concentrated, but just know that there are some movements happening within this storm. So we could be talking about some strong winds happening um, with this storm. And again, let's take a look at the different tornado warnings that are currently in place and when they expire, taking you back to the radar here so you can see that there is heavy rain. Looks like they also just chopped off a good chunk of that tornado warning. So some of the areas that are no longer included in the tornado warning but are included in the sphere thunderstorm warning still Bethlehem, Didley, Dildes Mill, Archertown Road, Harrellsville, you're still included in the <laughs> The National Weather Service in Wakefield has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Bertie County in northeastern North Carolina, Hertford County in northeastern North Carolina, southwestern Gates County in northeastern North Carolina, northwestern Chowan County in northeastern North Carolina, until noon at 11.17 a.m. Severe thunderstorm was located near a husky, moving east at 25 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expects damage to trees and power lines. This severe thunderstorm will be near a husky, Winton and Cofield around 11.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Powellsville around 11.35 a.m. Harrellsville around 11.50 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Coleraine around noon Eastern Daylight Time. Other locations impacted by the severe thunderstorm include Goose Pond, Tunis, Earlies, Manola, Newsom Store, Arrowhead Beach, Chawan Beach, Mapleton, Trap and Mount Gould. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Torrential rainfall is occurring with this storm and may lead to flash flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. Please report severe weather by calling 757-899-259, UPIM Station 1210, and Hertford, the area of Hertford, we got some heavy rain possibly moving into that area right around 1215. So we're heading closer and closer to that noontime hour. We do have some uh, severe thunderstorm warnings also in place. So again, we have 
three tornado warnings currently in place across northeastern North Carolina. Now, I did mention Chesapeake quite a while ago. Let's head back up to Chesapeake because we do have a flood advisory that will go until noon. So we've got 12 minutes left on this, I believe. Let me double check, see that they didn't extend it. Yes, we had that until 12 o'clock this afternoon, that flood advisory, because you do see that we still have some heavy rain in that area of Chesapeake. So we're talking about Bells Mills. If you live in Deep Creek, Great Bridge, uh, Hickory areas, we have that heavy rain happening still right now. And when we take a look at, this is going to say the past 12 hours here, um, but if I just take you the next six hours, the last six hours, you see it doesn't change that much. So it's really only been raining there for about the last six hours. And then looking at the watt, excuse me, the flood advisory that's in place, putting that back on for you. And then let's go ahead and take a look at some of these numbers, just astonishing numbers that we're seeing as far as the rainfall into Chesapeake. 5.2 inches, 5.9, upwards of 6 inches of rain in this area of Chesapeake up towards Bear Quarter, three and a half inches, Hickory area, two inches. Still, that's quite a bit of rain into these areas along 17, 4.2 inches into that region as well. And it's not just Chesapeake zooming back out. We do have multiple areas that have seen quite a bit of rain. And we were just looking at tracking that system, that heavy rain into Chihuahua County. It does look like the National Weather Service has extended the tornado warning. Um, so that's going to be extended, and we'll take a look at that in just a second. But just showing you the swath of the rain. And let me take the watch, let me take the warnings off just a bit um, here for you so that we can kind of see what is going on. Again, we do have the uh, observed precip quite a bit into areas of Suffolk, Chesapeake, and even into Hertford County, um, Camden County. You're seeing lots of rain happening into those regions, Core Peak, South Mill, even towards Moyoc, areas of Suffolk. Again, also seeing some pretty heavy rain into those regions as well. So the radar, again, we have multiple tornado warnings, but a new one just issued by the National Weather Service. And let's go ahead and see if we can zoom into that, get the information on that. That's for Chihuahua and Perquimans counties. Now that will go until 1215. So we've got 25 minutes on that there. Um, again, Chihuahua and Perquimans counties. Estimated hail size would be sub-severe, but still Hail is dangerous, whether it's severe or not. So we want you all to head into your safe place for that um, tornado warning that was just issued and that will go until 1215. Getting some info on that, how fast are these storms moving? They're also moving at 35 miles an hour. So we're keeping an eye on a severe thunderstorm uh, near Cold Rain or seven miles southwest of Ryland. Now that's moving southwest at 35 miles an hour. We did just put a track on that. But since some of you are just tuning in, you just got that alert on your phone. We're going to time it out for you again, just to give you an idea on when the heavy rain is going to be moving into your area. And then we'll take a look um, a little bit deeper inside that storm. So again, these are moving at 35 miles an hour, taking you through Chihuahua and Perquimans counties over the next 30 or so minutes. We're looking at, let's move this out the way so we can, uh, for those of you who are continuing to tune in, we can get you that information. Um, all right, so this, there we go, there we go. Now we can move it out of the way. Mill Cross Roads, 1152. So you're probably hearing stuff right now. Cisco, 1158 or so. Around 1205 for Beach Springs, 1210 for Hertford, New Hope proper, 1218 and 1221 for the area of Burgess. And again, tornado warning. This is, I'm just timing out where the heavy rain is gonna be move, start to move into your area. This isn't necessarily where that potential tornado could be moving into those areas. Right now we are gonna take a look, however, at a couple of things. Let's take a look at a couple of things, everybody. Um, so we're taking a look here at what is called the wind speed or the velocity. It looks like we've got some pretty strong uh, winds happening right now in parts of uh, northern, looks like Chihuahua County. So let's zoom into those. And again, I do have those uh, severe thunderstorm and also those tornado polygons in place. I'm going to highlight it for you so I can see exactly which tornado warning we're talking about because I, they're probably going to drop the one that's into parts of uh, 
Bertie County and then also into uh, Chawan County as well. So again, this new one for Chawan and Perquimans County that includes more so of Chawan County that goes until 1215. So looking at the wind speeds here, you do see some pretty bright yellows and also some greens there as well. So some strong winds indicated in that. And we do have some of those yellows and those bright greens close together right around Mill Crossroads. Uh, Rocky Hack, you do see River Road there where we're seeing maybe some of that rotation, some of those strong winds as well. And not to mention, we have the heavy rain, lots, lots, lots of lightning happening in these areas as well. So keeping an eye on those things as we track this system moving. They're saying to the east, but it's kind of got a little bit of a southerly component. So east, southeast at about 35 miles an hour. Again, I do believe they are going to either let this expire or they are going to... Um, uh, drop this warning that is in place right now for areas of Hertford and Bertie counties, but just to see when that's set to expire, it's set to expire at noon. So they may drop it a little bit earlier. They may just let it expire at noon as well. So we're just keeping an eye on multiple tornado warnings across the area, mainly into northeastern North Carolina. Uh, let's go ahead, reset once again, put the radar on there, put the loop, and I'm also going to put the lightning on there to show you that we have got a lot going on as well. And there was one thing coming out of Chesapeake that I want to go back to that came in from the newsroom. So if you are in Chesapeake in the Greenbrier area, some of those storms have affected traffic signals on several major roadways, including Kempsville Road, Greenbrier Parkway, Volvo Parkway, and also Battlefield Boulevard North. There may or may not be police there directing traffic if you are heading out at those impacted intersections. Again, these are big intersections. If no police are present, treat it as a four-way stop sign. Again, treat those as a four-way stop sign if police are not present in those areas directing traffic. And we do have Chief Meteorologist Jeff Lawson has now joined us for our coverage of the severe